There's a man in the first century, uh, his name was Saul. His name changed to Paul when he came face to face with Jesus. He's an apostle because he saw the risen Christ and he wrote so many of these letters in the New Testament. Paul was a, a Uh, an apostle of Jesus. He was a church planter, a missiologist. He was a sociologist. He knew the hearts of people. He could tell what was going on in the world. He was a theologian. And even pre-Jesus, the amount of pure amount of time that he spent searching the scriptures, he knew about God. So when he writes, there's a depth depth of his writing and insight that is helpful to us. And he talks about the complexity of being a human being. If you're struggling with yourself these days, of course you're struggling with yourself. Why why do we think we wouldn't struggle with ourselves? When you add the complexity of sin, you add the complexity of an evil one who hates God and so he hates you because you are so loved by God. You throw all that in the mix and no wonder. What's really interesting, if you have your Bibles Uh, in Romans 7, is that this theologian, apostle, sociologist, missiologist, church planter guy named Paul writes, right? And But he writes, and we love this passage because it's like all of those things, oh, man, he, he was human. Notice this, he, the struggle that he had. This is Romans 7, verse 14. He's been talking some really deep theology here in the letter to the Roman church already. And then he gets to this verse 14. He says, we know that the law is spiritual, but I am unspiritual. He's talking about himself here, okay? I am sold as a slave to sin. I do not understand what I do for what I want to do. I do not do, but what I hate, I do. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good. As it is, it is no longer I myself who do it, but it is sin living in me. For I know that good does not dwell in me, that is, in my flesh. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For I do not do the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do, this I keep on doing. Now if I do not want to do, and I'm getting lost here. Now if I do what I do not want to do, it is no longer I who do it, but it is sin living in me that does it. So I find this law at work. Although I want to do good, evil is right there with me. For in my inner being, I delight in God's law. But I see another law at work in me, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin at work within me. What a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? We love this passage because Paul, the great apostle Paul, kind of unveils, it's like he's a human. And his struggle is our struggle. His struggle is is our struggle. And he says this, I see this going on in me. I delight in God's law, but evil is right there in my flesh. I want to do good. I think every human being wants to do good. I think God created us with this desire. You know, we want to be good. We want to do good, but evil is right there. And he says this is a battle. In fact, he uses this phrase, verse 23. uh, I see another law at work in me, waging war against the law of my mind. If you've ever felt like this spiritual walk is a war, you're not alone. 